A couple months ago, I made a video about how to earn passive income by self-publishing low content books on Amazon KDP. And it seems like most of you guys loved it and there are so many amazing comments below that video. But there were a couple people in the comment section who cried foul and informed us that Amazon is oversaturated and that it is way too late to make any sort of real money on Amazon by selling these low content books. And of course, to a certain extent, they're right. Amazon is pretty sad. Saturated. There are millions and millions of products on the site and there are thousands and thousands of low content books. And if you try to publish your low content books, then you'll be competing against those. However, I have to say that when I look at these different low content book categories on Amazon, I'm actually surprised at how poorly done most of the listings are, even the listings that are ranking pretty well. And what that tells me is that there's a huge opportunity here to be just a little bit more strategic and try just a little bit harder and get your books to rank well for the relevant keywords and start making some real passive income. So in this video, I'm going to be covering five of my top strategies for marketing your KDP self-published books on Amazon. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is log into my BookBolt account. By the way, if you don't have a BookBolt account, it is really easy to sign up. It's only about $10 a month and it gives you all the tools you need to research to find the right categories to rank your low content books in and also tools to actually create the low content books really easily. Anyway, so I'm going to click on cloud and this is going to take me into this part of the tool. So this is just a search tool that's going to show us the highest ranking books in certain categories. So I'm gonna leave it at the top 100. I'm gonna look at this sketchbook category, top 500,000 best sellers and leave the price range open. And we're just going to do this search here. So now if we scroll down, we can see that these are the top books in the sketchbook category. Now, what a lot of people do is they think, okay, these are the top books in the sketchbook category. That's a big popular category. So what I will do is I will try to copy these designs, maybe try to improve them slightly and try to rank against them. This is not the strategy we want to go for. It is very difficult to compete in these very broad niches. You're going to see a lot more success a lot more quickly if you instead target a niche category on Amazon. Now, I think that one of the best ways it, to choose a niche for yourself is to start easy. Start with something that you already know about. So think about a low content book that you might be interested in yourself, like a notebook for a certain hobby that you have, for example. So one thing that is sort of a hobby of mine is houseplants. So I could create a houseplant care journal, for example. Let's see how many of those are on Amazon. Now you might be thinking, well, not that many people are looking for this. Yes, obviously not as many people are looking for a houseplant care journal as there are people looking for just a general sketchbook or journal, but we'll be able to rank a lot more easily for this term. There will be a lot less competition. If you make a good one of this niche book, then you will be able to actually start creating sales a lot more quickly. So as you can see here, the designs are not exactly stellar. The top listings do not have very many reviews and even the reviews that they have often are not very good. And so there's a lot of room here for you to edge in and to rank highly for this term. I see one houseplant journal and care log book that has a decent number of good reviews. But for the most part, um, Amazon is resorting to showing us other books about caring for houseplants. So that's the first strategy is go more niche. The, as some people say, the riches are in the niches. I can't say the riches are in the niches though. That just doesn't work. Okay, so let's move on to the second strategy, which is a pricing strategy. So we're gonna go in here to Amazon KDP. I'm gonna sign into my KDP account and we are going to look at the pricing for one of these books. So I'm going to continue the setup to this because what we wanna do is we wanna see what is the lowest possible price we could sell the book for? Because if you start out selling your book for the lowest price, then you can beat out the competition on price. Like people will choose your book because it is cheaper. And then once your book rises in the ranks and is actually ranking well on Amazon and and you have gotten enough reviews, then you can slowly increase the price of your book. And that is a great way to actually start making money with your book. So first of all, I'm here in the paperback content section. And if you scroll down to the very bottom of this, it shows what your printing cost is. So this is how much you could actually order copies for, but we're gonna move along even further because you have to sell the book for a little bit more than the printing cost because Amazon doesn't want to just do this for free. They want to actually make a little bit of a profit themselves. So 
in this paperback rights and pricing tab, if you scroll down here to the pricing royalty and distribution section, then it shows here minimum is 358. So that's the lowest amount that Amazon will publish and sell your book for. Uh, and if you do the 358 price, then you don't make anything. But honestly, it's the best long-term strategy to just kind of delay that gratification a little bit. Don't try to make $2 per book right now, just settle for making $0 per book for the first couple months, because then you can increase it and that's when you'll really start raking in the profits. Now, if you shop on Amazon at all, which I'm guessing you do, then you probably realize how important the reviews are. But a lot of self-published authors and low content self-published creators seem to miss this. And they just publish lots of low content books or even write lots of books. And they don't really put in the effort required to get the reviews. And then they just wonder why their books aren't selling. Don't let that be you, okay? We need to focus on the reviews more than focus on just just creating great books or just creating lots of books. Of course, it starts with creating a good book, but once you publish that good book, don't just move on to the next one, work on getting some reviews for it. So for example, if I search for graphic design notebook, this sponsored product here, okay, they are paying for ads. It doesn't have a single review. So they are wasting their money. They could be so much more successful if instead they first focused on getting a few reviews and then they paid for those ads. Next one here, graphic design layouts for logo creators. It's ranking pretty highly, but it has very few reviews. They could be making a lot more sales if they had more reviews. And a lot of these notebooks that are popping up for this relatively popular keyword don't have very many reviews. So how can you get the reviews? Well, first of all, it's against Amazon's terms of service to pay for reviews. So you don't want to do that, but it is totally Amazon legal to ask people to buy your product and leave a review. And so you want to focus on that type of strategy. You can start by making your product very affordable, like that 358 price I was just talking about, and then asking your friends and family if they would be willing to buy the book and leave a review to help you out. You also can can join Facebook groups for Amazon sellers and trade product reviews with them. So you agree to buy another seller's product and leave a review if they do the same for you. So all you need to do is go to facebook.com and then search for Amazon seller and click on groups and you'll find a whole bunch of these groups, Amazon seller performance, Amazon sellers, Amazon seller secrets, Amazon sellers and FBA groups. The list goes on and on. I would recommend joining one of the smaller but still active ones. So you can see here, this one has 47,000 members. You still could find success there, six posts a day, but you want to look for one that has fewer members, but still is quite active, which you can tell by that number of posts per day. That's generally how you will be able to connect with people the best. Marketing strategy number four is to advertise your book on Amazon. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you haven't already done the previous things, especially working on getting some reviews. But once you have some reviews, these can be dollars really well spent because you don't necessarily have to keep advertising your book forever to keep making those sales. Advertising even for just a couple of months can help you to rise in the ranking can help you to get more reviews and can cause your book to start selling a whole lot more. And it's actually really easy to do. All you need to do is go to the KDP website. And when you're on the bookshelf tab, you scroll down to the book you want to advertise. And then you hover over these three dots and you click on promote and advertise. Um, and when I've done this before, I did it with absolutely no even tutorial or anything like that. It really just walks you right through the process and guides you to create an ad that can start running immediately. Immediately. And the last strategy won't immediately get you more sales, but it will do a lot for your long-term sales. So this is my book here that I sell on Amazon and I've been selling it for a few years, but right when it first came out, I did something not very well, but I did it and it had a huge impact. So what I did was I included in the book itself, here's the book, um, I included a page that just says that they can get some free resources if they go to my website. So as you can see here on this page, I tell them to go to my website so that they can get some free resources. And in the ebook version of the book, it is actually on one of the very first pages because since they'll be on a device already, I wanted them to be able to click the link and go to my website. And in just the first week or two, 
after launching my book, I had 800 people join my email list just from that. Now, what's really good about this is that if someone buys your product on Amazon, you can't follow up with them to sell them your future products. But if they go to your website and give you their email address, then you can. So then in the future, when you're having a sale, you can send them an email and let them know. And that can really help to boost your future sales. This is also a great way to ask people to leave you reviews. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you found these marketing tips helpful and that they help you to sell more of your low content books on Amazon KDP. If you want to see more videos about low content books, Amazon KDP and marketing on Amazon, then leave me a comment below to let me know. And also give this video a like to let me know that you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like it in the future. Also, I don't normally talk about this, but I have a free email newsletter that I send out every week all about about digital entrepreneurship and how to make money online. If that is a topic that you are interested in, then you can subscribe to the email newsletter for free. I promise I don't send a ton of emails, typically once or twice per week. There is a link in the description that you can click to find out a little bit more about it and to sign up. And of course you can unsubscribe at any time. And finally, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I make new videos here every single week. And just by the way, the content in the emails is different than the content in the YouTube videos. Most of the time um, there's overlap, but if you want to get twice as much information about making money online, then you should subscribe to both. Well, that's all for now. Thank you again so much for joining me for this video. I hope you have an amazing week. My name is Gillian Perkins and I'll see you again next time.